and we're back with some more oxygen not included. Today, today is going to be about colonizing a new planet straight away. We want to send a rocket over to Cal Caldora. Caldora, yeah, we're just going to go with Caldora there. Caldora, it appears, has the rift opener. As in, there is a rift down here, a temporal tear, and we need to rip it open so that we can send a duplicate through it. And the machine to do that is over here. Well, that's what the comments have advised me, so we're going to send a quick team over there. I've been given advice on what I should bring in that, and I'm going to ignore all of that advice and just tackle it like default. This is going to be our crew, Brendan, Millington, and Arctic Fox. Actually, you can take off the lead suits, guys. Now, while you're in here, you might as well deconstruct all of these and we'll replace them with beds for when you take off. Uh, also, as well as that, there's a wee bit of a problem we're facing on our home planet. Uh, that would be a shortage of a lot of raw materials. Uh, if we go under minerals here, you'll see the most we have is 23 tons of sandstone. Everything else, we've less than 10 tons of rock left. So igneous rock, granite, all that stuff, we're running out. We're literally spent it all just on projects. I have been, I've replaced tiles with plastic to try and, you know, minimize that, but you still need insulated tiles in places. You're still going to need liquid pipes. You can't make pipes out of plastic. So yeah, it's been getting tight, tighter and tighter. In fact, we have more steel now than we, we have 30 tons of steel. Uh, we've got 10 tons of steel on that rocket and... It, We've got more refined metals than we have rocks left. That's ridiculous, but never mind. We're going to launch the team on their way. When launching them, though, I want to make sure that they don't, you know, incinerate our solar panels. I mean, it's so much of a problem if they incinerate. Oh, I forgot to block off this area. Oh, we'll see. How far out does that hydrogen cloud spread? Or the steam cloud? Okay, that's not too... Ooh. Nah, I didn't make it. Perfect, perfect. Okay, temperature-wise, yeah, yeah, probably a good idea we put that there. The steam would have gotten down there. If we had these all in a perfect vacuum, I was testing the distances between these rocket engines and solar panels, and if you keep, uh, if just say the rocket engine was over here somewhere and the solar panel was in complete vacuum, you could have them launch this close without anything happening, but uh, I hadn't really accounted for this backgrounding stopping the, the steam from escaping when I originally designed this. Oh well, you live and you learn. While that rocket is winging its way towards its destination, we'll have a quick check down here on our grass grass plant. It has given us 11 seeds so far and not a single mutation. Not one. This thing is exposed to 3,190 rads and it hasn't mutated across 11 seed givings. That's just really, really annoying. But, but, we got, we got a chance at another one now shortly. And uh, this is a very high priority show, so Jerome should be along shortly to hopefully Freaking give us a seed, and preferably give us a mutated one. Actually, never mind, Jerome is sleeping. Grant, Grant, we'll just, we'll wait until he shows up. And their skills are amazing, and we got another seed, but it's also another original seed. God damn it, Jerome, what's your skills at agriculture? It should be something ridiculous by now, 20. You got a base skill of 11. Well, it is their entire job. Well, we'll see you again in about a cycle and a half. Oh, and printing pod wise, we have, actually, a duplicate I'd be interested in getting. Interest in science, uh, interest in supplying and operating, they'd, and they've already got a mechatronics tier 3 skill. They would be perfect. Irritable Bowel is the only negative. Yeah, we'll take them. Please welcome Melina Nighthawk to the team. That's a hell of a mechatronics engineer name. Uh, let me quickly set you up. In fact, we're going to have to make you a quick gym, aren't we? Oh, look at them go. They're completely new, have no skills, z almost zero athletics, and they don't have the skills for using a, an atmos suit or a, a rad suit. Yeah, we're just going to move you right back down here again. Come on. We got to get you running on a wheel and make sure you stay in a wheel for, well, a long, long time. It's it's definitely going to be 40 or 50 cycles before you can be useful to us. There we go. Melina can run on there all she wants until she's, well, up to snuff. Once they're fast enough, then we can release them. Where were we? Ah, yes. We want to redo this cargo module and send it off. And then we want to rebuild both of these to get even more cargo. Because our achievements are not quite where they need to be yet. Oh. And we need to redo one of the rockets to collect multiple artifacts. So, yes, there's Temporal Tear Opener and send a duplicate on a one-way mission. And we've already got five mini pods built on five different colonies. I think the last one was where? Ah, yes, it was on Frostona. The one with the Nosh Sprouts and the Dash Assault Vines. We threw a quick one down just to knock out the last of them. We've got four or five of them spread around somewhere. We still have to get the totally tubular one. That one, you know what, we'll just have to ham that one up at the end by making a really long sort of transport tube for it. Uh, GMO, a, GMO a okay. Yeah, we're not there yet. We're still waiting on gas grass for some reason. Mind the gap. We've got 341 tons and we just need another 660. It'd be fine. And cluster conquest duplicates or rovers land on, on 
all 11 planetoids. We've landed on 9. We're about to land on 10 once our rocket gets to this location. And once we've colonized this place and got the uh, the tear opener set up, we just got to send one more mission to f the fire planet. And that'll be that achievement knocked out as well. We're close. We're so close. Now, uh, renovations, you guys are about to be turned into cargo miners. While being busy renovating our rockets, we've got a seed analysis complete. We've managed to get gas grass analyzed, meaning we got a mutated gas grass plant which means we've knocked out another chunk of an achievement. Dear Lord, how long did that one take? That was one of the rougher ones. Uh, Yet yeah, now all we got to do is Dash of Salt Vine and Nosh Sprout. Well, I'm thinking Dash of Salt Vine comes up first because Nash, the so Sprout requires us to go down to temperatures below zero degrees. Minus 25 to zero degrees is all that works at. Hmm, so where are we going to put those Dash of Salt Vines? Move a few things around, we can get the Dash of Salt Vine in. Now we just have to replace the entire atmosphere with chlorine. Um, thankfully we've been mixing in and out the atmosphere isn't here for a while, so yeah, we're just going to rip out all of the carbon dioxide, send that all into space, and then we've got a tank of chlorine right here that we can use, and a second tank of chlorine over there, because we've been stockpiling all this stuff, because we were never going to need it, probably, at some point or another. There we go. Whole bunch of chlorine dumped in there from the tank next door, and yeah, the atmosphere is now mostly chlorine. Now, there's a little bit of recycling going on here, but so long as we keep the chlorine around that uh, dash of salt vine, I don't care. Now we just gotta hope that it mutates a little bit faster than the last one, otherwise I'll have to bring in even more chlorine. What is it this at? Uh, Alright, 3,222 rads out of 7,400. This should mutate an awful lot faster. And then that just leaves us with the nosh sprouts, which, please tell me you're not too difficult. 9,800. Oh, yeah, last one was 12,000, so they'll be a little bit trickier, but we'll worry about that when the time comes, because we'll have to reduce the temperature in here much, much, much lower. We're probably going to need to run uh, some sort of cooling loop through there, probably involving super coolant. That's going to be effort. I want to leave that until the very end. Okay, we have two rockets mining, and we are building another one to go mining. So this is what our rockets are going to look like for, well, solitary astronauts who are going out mining. This is really just a variant on this one. We just have a telescope over here. In fact, go back outside. We've got a new telescope one we've put together in this capsule, which probably explains it a lot better. This is where the telescope goes. Pond can sleep in there. And you'll see we've got a barracks, washroom, great hall. So they've got all of their morale boosters and they're able to use the telescope. All we've done is ripped out the telescope. And because of that, we're able to stick the refrigerators over here, which allows us to stick in a comfy bed. A little bit of extra morale never hurt anyone and, you know, costs us almost nothing. And why? Oh. I forgot to put in the last section. I always leave the hand sanitizer till last. Yeah, just because it gives off that uh, bleach that, or the, the chlorine that it contaminates the place. Uh, for filtration, we just have this loop here. If it detects oxygen, the oxygen gets filtered in here and put back into the capsule. If it detects anything that's not oxygen, it gets dumped out into the vacuum of space. Done. Very simplistic little thing. That gives us a rocket. Well, that gives us another cargo rocket. Uh, we're currently building our third cargo rocket wait no fourth cargo rocket uh actually technically a fifth we've got another one over here well we'll worry about that in a minute it's time to crew this up and send it on its way for crew we're actually putting on where is it i think it's tessex yeah tesserex we're sending tesserex on, on this one because well we don't have many duplicates who are any good at rocketry and we are also running into people we can send off without actually negatively impacting the colony uh you're good to go you know, we'll let someone build a hand sanitizer when you get back. For now, I think we're okay. Yeah, you can live without it. I mean, you're getting most of the morale boosts you need, and you've got plenty of food. There they go. Perfect. All I had to do was just change it so they could actually fly rockets. Now, I think our other crew have arrived. Have they? Oh, 50 seconds, and we can start colonizing Calder Caldora. I'm calling it Calderon. It's Calderon. Don't care. Our team have actually arrived outside the planet, and we're ready to land, but there is one thing I want to take care of first. This uh, rather long rocket here is going to be our sort of scout ship slash artifact collector. We only have four space artifacts to collect, and once we get those four, we can knock out another achievement. So what I want to use this rocket for is collecting them. Unfortunately, there's some conflicting information on things. Uh, one of them is you can only collect one space artifact per run. If you try and collect two, the second one defaults to a generic artifact. Which means if we try and collect two in one run, we'll just end up destroying, the, technically destroying the artifacts that we're trying to collect. So what we're going to do here is we're going to do a quick run out here, hit this destroyed satellite and ruined rocket, and then come back. Also, there's a confusion as to whether or not you needed a drill cone to access uh, to grab these. I don't really care because we have plenty of room on this hydrogen rocket, so we're going to send along a drill cone because we can grab two there. And if that works and we get back two unique artifacts, we can come down here and grab 
One, two, three, four, five, six. We can grab a whole bunch down that end. So not too worried. Let's just uh, launch this on its way. It has a range of 32 tiles. That's... Oh, that is excellent. Now, let's see how this works out for gas spread down here. Uh, we're pretty okay. Yeah, I wouldn't have liked it touching that gas tank. Yeah, that's made of steel, though. It's made of steel. It'll be fine for now. And the rest of that gases will dissipate into the background of space. Also, we made everything in here out of steel. Though, I think I just saw something melt somewhere, did I? Please tell me I didn't see anything melt. Probably fine. Probably. All right, all right. Enough, enough faffing about. It's time to go to Calderon. Okay, Calderon. Now, I've had a quick glance around here, and there seems to be something there, and there's also the biosecurity scanner door. There looks to be a room there. That seems promising. Uh, let's go grab our ship and decide who we're sending down. I'm thinking Brendan and Millington, and wait, wait. Build our exit first. Don't mess about. Build an Atmosuit checkpoint. All right, now that the checkpoint is complete, let's select a duplicate. We'll go, of course, with Millington. Best build digger we got. And Millington, we're going to want to deploy you down... Ooh, actually, do you want to put them on top or on bottom? I think we deploy them right here. Uh, yeah, the reason being, we've got a bunch of granite tiles we can deconstruct to make... Well, ah, ladders up. Problem is, there's not actually a lot of material here to make stuff out of. It's all snow and ice. So we're going to have to dismantle this for ladder pieces, which will, of course, melt terrifically if we're not careful, but that's fine. Uh, off you go. Okay, once they're successfully dispatched, then we'll send Brendan. We've learned from uh, experience here. Game does not like it when you try doing two of these at a time. We're still going to try and do semi two. Oh, fine, fine. I'll go back up and do the other one as well. No, no. Actually, there they go. Just took them a minute. Nice. And we can deconstruct that. That should give us plenty of building materials. And you can also... Oh, nope. Not Millington. I want the Trailblazer module. Deconstruct that too. And then I think we'll stick our lander ooh, on the tight to the left-hand side of the map. And oh my god, that's so much sleet wheat. That is so much sleet wheat. And slime, which I'm going to imagine has zero germs in it because all the germs have frozen to death. Perfect. And I'm really hoping that's what we're, we came here for. The, the rift opener, whatever the hell you call it. And we can smooth this out a little bit. Why not? We, we, we don't have to be savages. Unlike previous times, we're just going to stick this right on top of here. Reason being, well, this is ice. It's going to eat up an awful lot of the heat anyway, so we don't care. And oh my god, it's lunchtime and I haven't actually... We need to land that rocket really quickly, don't we? In that case, we need to start building a ladder up. Uh, yeah, some granite will probably do. Probably. Come on, get on top of that. Damn it. They've decided to nap. That's not, that's not good. Um, yeah, we're gonna need you guys to wake back up again. Time for a little bit of a schedule change. There we go, that's a proper schedule. Just work, 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 and no downtime, because downtime is for the week. And, yeah, interrupted sleep because of bright light. That's probably because you're sleeping in a heavily radiated part of the world that also happens to be covered in an awful lot of sun. Actually, not an awful lot of light. These planets are actually very lightly illuminated. As in, if we check on the star map here, you'll notice this planet is listed as having 10,000 lux. To put that in perspective, the average planetary lux is about 30,000. And the high-end ones go up to like 100,000 on the fire planet. And the uh, the asteroid one goes, or the meteor one, goes up to 120,000. So, yeah, this is a pretty weak sauce planet. It's going to be awkward putting down any kind of solar panels. And someone submit their bioscan. I really want to see what's in there. Oh, okay. Whenever you get around to it, guys. Oh, we can land the rocket as well. Land here. We'll get everyone to run out of the way when the time comes. Well, actually, you know what? They can, they can suck it up. It'll be fine. And, ooh, please show me what's in... What is that? Temporal tear opener. Yes, this is exactly what we came here for. Now we just have to figure out how to turn it on. I mean, how hard can it be? It's probably... <laughs> Sorry. The, the granite just... Uh, couldn't handle the heat. Oopsie. Um, just run away for a minute. We'll wait until the uh, the steam dies. <laughs> well, yeah, that, that felt just about right. Uh, we will move you down. In fact, yeah, we're gonna... There you go. All the way down. The guys need to get back inside pretty quick so they can grab a nap and some snacks. Also, probably some anti-rad meds. And use the toilet. 
And there is the opener. Jesus, they actually ripped that apart really quick. Good job. Hmm, temporal tear opener. It requires 1,000 rad bolts. That's, well, what's the radiation levels here? Eh, we can fire over some nuclear waste. Yeah, we can sort this out. Oh, power. We're going to need power and we're going to need nuclear waste. There's no, yeah, I doubt there's any coal here. Yeah, looks like we're going to have to fire power over. We can't even use proper solar panels because, well, yeah, the light levels on this planet are so low. Let me come up with a plan for a minute. All right, we have a plan, sort of. We're going to seal in across the top here. We don't want any gases escaping from uh, from the bottom of the map. Uh, at the same time, we're going to bring in here, we're going to have to seal this door off. We want to keep atmosphere in here, and we're going to use this wheezewort as a source of radiation to fuel everything. And the thing is, we're going to stick about four rad bolt generators around this to grab as much rads as possible, as quickly as possible. That's going to take a lot of power. So there's no power sources on this planet. We're going to fire over coal. We're going to build a bunch of coal generators, use the coal generators to power up the, uh, the rad bolt generators. We should be able to... In about seven cycles, generate enough rads from this, if my math is right. Then that should allow us to activate the temporal tear opener, which has line of sight obstructed. Well, you know, we can remove the top later on. In the meantime, though, we need some way of getting the coal over here. Now, I was advised to bring a bunch of coal with me, but I was like, nah, I wouldn't have thought to do that if the common sat had told me. So instead, what we'll do is we will get a launcher. Yeah, we're going to need to put a launcher probably over here somewhere. Yeah, we can put down a few of those interplanetary launchers. Uh... Yeah, somewhere about here. Even one should be sufficient. That looks about right. We'll stick the interplanetary launcher there. We'll have this conveyor rail go over to it and feed it the resources and really run over the power. Now, while that's going on, though, I have to concentrate back here on getting this done. Yeah, we need to make sure that our duplicants are working max out, and I also need to change their schedule so they don't work themselves to death. That might be a little bit inconvenient if they did that. All right, that's enough of that. I think we've got most of the resources we need, though I am going to come down here and open up this uh, metal volcano, namely because, well, there's a lot of chill around here. I think it can handle a little bit of an iron volcano spitting stuff out. How are we looking in here? Yeah, Arctic Fox is running on the wheel. We've put the manual generator in there to make sure that we've got enough power to keep everything running, though I think we'll throw in some solar panels. Mm, actually, wait, no. First, we're going to throw in an interplanetary targeting beacon. Uh, where are you going to go? Eh, there should be fine. We'll just have to make sure we can run enough power wires everywhere. We will have the power come from this battery down here, through that wire, f hit the targeting beacon, go over here, up over here, and into all of these solar panels, which will generate very, very little power, but we're still gonna do it. Uh, that's going to take them a while to get that all done. In the meantime, back home... Ah, excellent. The interplanetary launcher is ready. In that case, we will change our target. You will be firing over to Calderon. Nice, and then, ah, oh, damn it, I forgot to power this sucker. Fine. There we go. We are going to fill this full of coal. Uh, we have about 400 tons of coal, and we're going to send a bunch of that all the way over. So give me consumable ore, give me coal, give that priority six. They're going to keep that full, that's going to fill that, and then we're going to turn these suckers on. You can go first, and then we'll wait a few seconds. I don't want to be doubling up. In fact, I'm going to wait until they're half done. Actually, how much can this hold? 120. Is it 120 or 200? 200 bolts. So you know what? We will make you 210. Perfect. And we'll copy the settings over there. Uh, any more than that is just a waste. So, wow, we will be able to fill that really quickly. Done. And come on. Once that's full, we'll just have to make sure wait until we get the, uh, the coal in there. Oh, allow manual use. God damn it, I'm an idiot. All right, there goes the coal. That's one ton of coal. I just realized something. I haven't waited until the wires were built, have I? Eh, that's not a problem. We'll just make all of that priority six, and then I'll have to figure out some way of getting them over to this side. Uh, there and there. Perfect. Probably? Yeah. Hmm. I mean, they'll probably get there in time. I mean, you got to imagine, all of these things have to be fired really long distances right now, so we've got a little bit of time, even though they're taking a bit of a nap. They've just woken up. They'll get around to that at some point today. Back here, this should be loading up. Once it hits 200 kilos, it'll launch. Oh, there we go. And it, it just fired one? What the? Wow, it's already fired four of them. That's awesome. And there goes another one. Uh, how much do we need? You know what? We can send over four or five tons. There's, there's no rush. You can have a nice little Congo line of them going all the way over there. 
There we go. How much are you stored up? You've got a thousand... Okay, it used to be you could launch five shots at once, but now, oh, it takes 120 rad bolts to do the distance. I suppose we are firing these things quite a range, which is why this is so... Mm -mm, weak sauce. We need to make this 120 bolts a piece. So we'll make it one, two, five, just to account for distance. Uh, copy you over there. Oh, great. Cleaning cycle. Great, great. Your timing is absolutely impeccable. All right, you got 180. That hits it. Boom. Charges it, fires it. Much better. Now we can fire at speed. Eh, how are you doing over here? Perfect. All right, all we got to do now is get some solar panels up there. Namely because the power requirements for the thing are, well, it's minus 60 watts constantly, and we don't want to have someone running on the wheel, like, all the time. That's just bad. Oh, and how is our little scout ships doing? Uh, scientific prototype is almost there, and oh, wow, that is just a swarm of projectiles. Uh, each one of those is 200 kilos of coal. Eh, I can live with that. Well, while the team are having a little bit of a nap, uh, they still haven't finished off all of the solar. That's fine. The shells are almost there. That is a that is a massive line of shells. Actually, let's have a look-see where they land. Perfection. Any more want to come down? Yep, yep, that is beautiful. All right, that at least gets us started on coal. We're going to put in a giant coal battery, a coal array down here. Well, we will once we finish this solar. You don't trap yourself. Don't, don't do something stupid. Don't do it. I know you're tempted. I know you're tempted. You want to trap yourself. Yep, see? You're just going out of your way to do that. It's fine, Millington. You know what? It is fine. We're gonna we're gonna let you trap yourself, but you'll be able to dig your way out again. So while Millington and Co. managed to get themselves out of that little particular problem. Oh, that's perfect. How much solar panels power are we getting out? Minuscule amounts. Absolutely minuscule. That should help tide us over. I think what we can do is check in on our little scout ship, which has picked up an office mug. That's uh that's not really what I was hoping for. I was hoping it would get a better artifact than that. We need to get 10 unique artifacts from space, and we've only got six so far. Uh, we'll head out to that ruined rocket and hopefully grab a new artifact. Those things actually recharge as well. We'll have another artifact from here in 98 cycles. I thought the whole thing disappeared when you collected them. That may be an older version I'm thinking of. And I think that now that we have that much coal inbound, it might be time to turn this off. You know what? We'll just turn off the allowed manual use. We'll let whatever's coming come, and then we'll figure out how much we've got at the end of it. Uh, though for now, I should probably put down an unloader for all of that. There we go, payload opener. And we've got wolframite on this planet? Nope, we'll just use steel. We're using steel everywhere because that's how we roll. I just realized, I'm being an idiot. Why would I put the payload opener way over here? Why not just put the payload opener right here beside the targeting beacon? That would make so much more sense. I realized opening all these payloads is, well, really slow and painful. So why not just build multiple payload openers? Now that we've got two of them down, we'll let them chop them all open. They don't need manual activity anymore. They just do it on their own. They don't even require power. So yeah, go uh, go do what you're going to do. And Millington, why are you asleep outside? <sighs> Your uh, stamina is at 4%. Okay, we're going to have to send you back to bed, aren't we? From looking through this, from what I can see, they stick in 10 payloads. Every time they come up to one of these, they throw in 10 payloads and they get automatically opened. So you can see here, we've got two tons of coal in each of these because 10 shells got put in. Each shell holds 200 kilos and done okay that means we can unlock an awful lot of stuff last time you used to have to have duplicates manually cranking open each shell and that took forever or payload whatever you want to call it all right down here we're going to stick in our uh, our quick power our cold power generators we're not going to actually what we're going to do is instead of putting in uh, conveyor rails to drop off the coal i think what we're just going to do is deconstruct the payload openers when the time comes and then that'll have all the coal drop out on the ground we have got the guts in place we've got power going through here through all of these generators. This should give us two kilowatts of power, which means we should be able to run four Rad Bolt generators off this. Well, just four Rad Bolt generators. And judging by the radiation that's around this, best styles here are 384, 385, 321, and 321. That's for four of them? Yeah, that's the best we could do. We could also try transplanting another Weezwort over here and using Phosphorite or sending... Nah. This should only take about seven or eight days to do it, so I'm okay with waiting that long. We still got a bunch of other achievements to do, so we can let this one sit in the background and do what it's gonna. Dun, dun, dun. Then we just need some Radbolt reflectors. And uh, it's all gotta go in there, so there and there and there. 
Yeah, something like that should be fine. Might have to put in a ladder segment here and there, but I think we can get this done. I think we're about ready to start. Now, I've been doing some math. I think we're going to need about almost 17 tons of coal to keep this running for the required period of time. Might want to fire over a little bit more coal. This one only has how much in it? Come on. You got about four tons in you. You're going to have a bit more. Oh, yeah, yo. We're, we're going to need some more coal, but it's fine. Uh, come on, start loading them up. There we go. Now we'll get the rest of this in there. The auto sweepers can reach that. Yeah. Excellent. Now you guys are all charging. Now what to set these guys to? Uh, say 100 rads? Eh, why not? 100 seems like a reasonable amount. I'm sure there will be a little bit of loss or we could do it slightly better or... Damn it, I messed up the... I shouldn't have copy-pasted them like that, should I? Plan here, though, is very simple. This one here will fire its rads up here, up here across, and in down is this one, which will shoot it into the temporal tear opener. That looks like it's the entry point. Oh god, I should really double-check that. Yes, that is definitely the entry point. And then this will fire it down into this one, this will fire it into that one, and that will fire it into that one, and all of them will get sent there. So... Will they all happen... No, they won't all happen at the same time because they're all running on different amounts of rads. So, perfect. Probably. Ooh. Actually, I just realized this one and this one both started at the same time. We might want to, say, disable this building for a second. I don't want both of those firing at the same time or they'll impact each other and cancel each other out. Okay, that's that one disabled. Then we'll just enable it again. Now it's a few seconds behind the other one and they shouldn't uh, conflict with each other. How are you doing? Uh... Empty storage? Oh, we could have just emptied storage instead of doing that other thing. Will that work? Will they just... Okay, is empty storage means... Destroy? Wow, that took forever. I think it would have been faster to deconstruct it and reconstruct it. Alright, uh, yeah, we've got enough coal to keep us going for a bit longer, but that should be a good start. While that's going on, uh... Let's maybe explore some volcanoes, shall we? And see what else this planet has to offer. Ooh, there's... I'm betting that's another volcano down there. Let's just keep going. I mean, what's the harm in it? Well, looks like we found another iron volcano. That's two. And if I'm right, there's a third one over there because it's showing that there's an iron volcano. And then there's a fourth one down here. So there's four iron volcanoes. Um, We're just going to reveal them all. Why not? Up here, what is going on. Oh, we got a tiny little bit of an overload on the line because the auto sweepers activated at the same time as all of this. It'll probably be fine. We'll repair it before we go. What are we up to? We're not even, we haven't even fired any rad bolts. It's going to be about three cycles before the rad bolts generate enough for us to actually move on or uh, to actually fire any. And on our star map, how are we doing? Please tell me you've arrived. Yes, uh, ruined rocket. Scientific prototype has arrived and picked up an office mug. God damn it. Okay, fine. We'll send you back home. So it picked up two office mugs in that entire trip and wasted a whole bunch of hydrogen. That's um, it's just wonderful. Also, we found a Gravitas reception desk, a couple of vending machines, and a pedestal that also contains another coffee cup. Find a lot of coffee cups down here. Not really what I was hoping for. Anyway, we'll have you dig out there and reveal that. We'll have four iron volcanoes ready to go. Perfection. Perfection, I tell you. In fact, I'll just keep an eye out in case there's any more. All right. Well, we seem to have run into a bit of a problem. These two rad bolt generators have fired, yet the temporal tear has zero rad bolts in it. I've messed up somehow. Uh, let's fire off 50 out of this one and see what happens. How have I messed this up? Come on. Okay, that should go there and then go straight forward. Yep, that's exactly what we wanted. Why did it not... How am I messing this up? Does this need power or something? Hmm... No database entry available. All right, all right, I think I figured it out. All right. This here is the thing when it's open. When it's closed, it's because something above it is blocked. So for example, if we just build a granite tile right about there, like that a priority six, come on guys. Uh, this will revert this from being able to see the sky to blocked. No, still see the sky, right? Uh, fine, we'll block another tile. Eventually at some point it will block the view. So there we have an obstructed line of sight because we've covered these tiles. It's one, two, three, four tiles are covered. Or uh, three tiles are open, so when we take that fourth one, there we go. Now it can see the sky. The weird thing is there's only three tiles above it, or these three tiles are open when you first find it. And then you have to add on the extra tile. I'm going to make it five because someone said five somewhere, but uh, whatever. That means now if we fire over some rad bolts, who's got a good... Actually, you've got a decent amount in you. 
Let's see, if we set you to 100. Done. Enters in, we get 96 rads. Okay, so we're actually, we lose 3.5 rads across the way. Uh, so 104? Yeah, 104 seems like a reasonable amount. All right, we'll just do a few changes here. All of them change to 104. That should probably get it there in the end. And then they'll all feed into that. Uh, down here we have revealed, oh, another volcano. You can uh, dig that out. And, oh, you can dig that one out as well. This should give us a little bit of iron ore around the place. Actually, how much iron ore are we up to? 779 kilos of iron ore already, and all of it from volcanoes. Beautiful. Down here we can inspect these. Yeah, whatever, we don't care. And we'll probably even do a little bit of rummaging. A few nutrient bars to keep us going, and we'll even deconstruct those doors to give us some... Oh, there's actually some glass back there. We don't need the glass, but hey, I'll take it. And up here at the top of the map... How much coal we got? 16 tons. That should be enough to provide us all the power necessary to run these Radball generators to fill up the temporal tear opener to open the temporal tear so that we can fly through it. Right, and up here those solar panels are doing the job. I'm going to send over some more coal just to be on the safe side, but once that coal has arrived and unpacked, I think it's time we left. Also, another wonderful thing that's happened. Seed analysis complete. We just ana analyzed a dash of salt vine seed. That means... That means we've only got one thing from GMO... GMO AOK -okay to sort out. Where are you? Analyze Nosh Sprout. That's it. That's all we've got left on that one. Mine the gap. We're up to 400 tons. Uh, cluster Conquest. We're up to 10 of 11 planets, meaning we only need one. Totally stupid. Yeah, well, we're gonna... Okay, that does not actually say not okay, but pretty cool. It's not zero K, okay, but pretty cool. Uh, cool. As in, not zero Kelvin. Yeah, that was pointed out to me in the comments, and now I feel kind of stupid for not having figured that out already. Oh okay, yeah, but uh, next up was... Ah, yes, The Great Escape. Open the temporal chair. We're working on it, and cosmic archaeology, which, yeah, we're we're working on that one. We'll probably get around to it once that hydrogen rocket returns home. All right, minor problem here. Uh, I was looking at this over here as it soaked up rads, and I realized the rad bolts were at zero. It's uh, got a charging progress. That's what's happening. So it can store up to a thousand rad bolts, but it consumes them to charge up. And from what I can roughly work out, for every 100 rad bolts you put in, you get one percent charge. So this has sort of messed with my math on how long we're going to have to stay here. Instead of it being about seven or eight cycles, it'll be about 71 or 72 cycles. Um, I think we're going to send over more radiation. Now, I think we might just send over a whole bunch of nuclear waste, make a little compression chamber, and dump the rad bolts from that directly into temporal tear. Though, I'm not sure we've got the resources and supplies. We're running out of oxide. We might have to actually return home to stock back up again before we can do that, because we're running out. Oh, I really don't want to, because the moment we take off, we're going to... Well, we're going to destroy, demolish all those ladders. Actually, do we have... We have a bunch of igneous rock here. We could y demolish that igneous rock and use that to replace the ladders with. That way, at least when we take off, it won't shred the whole place. Ooh, that might be an idea. A little bit of dem demolition down there. All those ladders are now igneous rock, which is good. Do these things have uh, overheat temperatures? No, they do not. That's good. Now, I think instead what we're going to do... I was going to send over nuclear waste, but I'm thinking instead send over phosphorite, plant a bunch of wheeze warts around here so we don't have to really move anything, and we should be able to crank up the radiation so high it should cut it down to about 20 days or so. Well, roughly. We've sent over a lot of coal. We have about 31 tons of coal, and I've split the electrical grids now. There's one electrical grid here with a coal generator powering the sweepers, and it's just these four generators on a 2 kilowatt wire that are powering those four, so there should be no more overloads. So in theory, once we get the phosphorite over, which is currently being fired over on the star map. There's, uh, let's see, is that, yeah, there's phosphorite in those two shells, phosphorite in those, yep, phosphorite there. Nope, that's where it comes over. So we'll have some phosphorite in about a 0.3 of a cycle and we should be good to go. Uh, over here, how are you doing? You have picked up an office mug. God damn it. How have you picked up an office mug? We wanted to pick up a unique space artifact, but it's not finding any. Do I have to send them to planets? Actually, you know what? I'm already over time, and I should have had this out the door already. I think I'm going to cut this out here today. I'm going to have to do some research in the background to figure out what's going on with the uh, the artifacts, because if we don't get the, the remaining four space artifacts, we're in a lot of trouble. And over here, I think I have a plan for what happens next. But anyway, I'm going to cut this out here. I uh, hope you enjoyed, and good luck.